Good evening. It is day nine of protesters camped outside Kevin DeLeon's home here in Eagle Rock. They hope to put pressure on the councilman to resign, but so far it has not worked. And as you mentioned today, Governor Governor Newsom stepping into the into the fray, not mincing words. I think they should. I want to give them space, but I think they, I was very clear with Nuri that she did the right thing, and I think the others should do the same. Governor Newsom explicitly calling for the resignation of two embattled L.A. City Council members. The remarks made following a gubernatorial debate in San Francisco Sunday, where he explained why it took him so long to state his opinion. I wanted to provide the opportunity for them to justify what they were said, what they said. It was two weeks ago that City Hall was rocked by scandal yet again after a leaked audio recording caught Latino leaders making racist, disparaging remarks during a redistricting meeting last year. Under intense public pressure, then-Council President Nuri Martinez and L.A. Labor Federation President Ron Herrera stepped down. Community and city leaders have called on Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo to do the same and help restore integrity to City Hall. Even President Biden weighed in, urging both men Men to resign. For more than a week, Black Lives Matter and other activists have been camped feet away from De Leon's home in Eagle Rock. Are you surprised it took Newsom this long to state his, his opinion on this? I do, actually, I, because especially when you have the president and you have um, different leaders from across um, the country coming out and saying it, you know, the governor of California, where Los Angeles is, um, coming forward uh, kind of, you know, almost two weeks afterwards. BLM doesn't think council meetings should resume until De Leon and Cedillo step down. They support a recall effort to force the disgraced councilman out of office. De Leon gave several TV interviews last week asking for forgiveness, but staying defiant, saying he won't resign. Now we reached out to Cedillo and De Leon for comment. We have not heard back. The drama at City Hall only intensifying. Reporting live tonight in Eagle Rock, Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. All right.